So we've got a question on exponential growth. Um, again, we're getting into the later questions, so these are the more challenging ones, undoubtedly. Um, and I'm just going to pick out a few points here. Again, um, we've got one mark questions, and one mark questions, it's uh, when, you, when you've got a one mark question, it's very difficult for me not to give the answer away. Okay, write down what the value of 150 represents in the context of the question. So it's this 150 here. Sorry, I should have read through the question first. Uh, we're baking a cake here. The cake mix is put in the oven. Um, as the uh, time goes by, um, the cake mix warms up. And this graph shows the, the temperature of the, uh, the ten temperature of, in the center of the cake mix in Celsius as we go by in time. Um, so we notice it's, it's warming up quite a lot here, less so here. And then by here, it's barely changing temperature at all. So write down what the value of 150 represents in the context of the question. Now, a common wrong answer here is to say, oh, it's the asymptote or it's the maximum value of the graph. But you need to pay attention to this in the context of the question. So you need to give an answer in the context of the question. Um, this is the temperature. This is how the, what the temperature of the cake is. What does that asymptote mean? about the temperature of the cake. So I'm not gonna give you the wording for that. What I am gonna say is that it's an asymptote. It means it's what the graph tends towards but never quite actually reaches. Those of you who know your science and how heat transfer works might um, have an understanding of that. You'll never actually reach that, but you'll get close enough. So um, you are as close as can be measured at 150, even if you're not actually at 150. Um, what does it mean? What is 150? What does it mean in the context of this question? Um, not just, oh, it's the asymptote, that's in, in the context of the graph. What does it mean in the practical context of the question? Okay, the temperature in the center of the cake mix was 18 degrees when placed in the oven. Find the value of A. Well, that means it was 18 degrees there. That means you have the value 0, 18. Okay. Um, for part B, you know that the temperature at time t is 150 minus et cetera, et cetera. So the temperature at time t is 18, and you know that that equals 150 minus a times 1.1 to the power negative t, and t is zero. So there you go, you can solve that. Now, some of you will be tempted to put that into your GDC, but of course negative zero is zero, 1.1 to the power zero, well you should know what anything to the power zero is, um, so you can actually solve that without using your calculator. Okay, right. Um, the baking tin is removed from the oven 15 minutes after the temperature in the center of the cake mix reaches 130 degrees. So you need to find 130 degrees here. Okay, look across, whoops, and find what time that happened at. Okay, and then it was removed 15 minutes after that. Find the total time the baking tin is in the oven. Okay, so that's for three marks. That's actually a, a relatively straightforward question. Anyone have any questions about part C? No, no, excellent. Thank you, Yasmin, for your reply, by the way. It's uh, everybody else has gone a little bit quiet. It makes me a little bit uh, unsure whether you've switched off or whether you. Uh, you just don't have any questions. Okay, we will move on then.